A lot of customers come in for service and they ask for a wheel alignment when they really mean to ask for a tire balance and vice versa. They ask for a tire balance when they really want a wheel alignment. Let me help you try and understand the difference between the two. Our number one indicator is the steering wheel. Are you going straight down the road but your steering wheel is off to the side like this? Or does your steering wheel shake side to side or up and down depending on how fast you go? Each one of these conditions tells us something different. So let's assume you're minding your own business, you're going straight down the road when a curb jumps out in front of you. But you can't tell anybody it's a curb because they'll think you're a bad driver, so let's just call it a pothole. It doesn't matter, the end result is still the same, you've bent something in the suspension. And of course, your steering wheel is now way off center. Your beautiful brand new car now is a bear to keep straight on the road. Now bear in mind that the whole front suspension is now affected, not just the right front in this case. Immediately after you hit that curb, I mean pothole, your right front is only half the problem because the system now equalizes. The left wheel takes half of the total angle change as does the right wheel. The vehicle in this case needs a wheel alignment. We have to change the angles and restore them back to original. To accomplish this, we have to move your complete car to the alignment rack and set it up. We put these heads, also known as targets, on the wheels, and we let the machine do its magic. This is an optical aligner. So there are cameras in the pods that are going up and down, and they're taking pictures of the targets, and they can record the minutest of adjustments. <laughs> oh, to be young and agile again. Isn't that right, Terry? So despite the acrobatics, most of the work is actually done under the car. There are multiple points that the technician accesses to be able to change the angles of the wheels and restore them back to what the factory had them specified at. This alignment procedure is used to correct a steering wheel that is off center or a car that is driving to the right or left and you don't want it to go that way. It does not fix a vibration in the steering wheel. That's part two. Let me be clear, when your steering wheel is vibrating, it's almost always a problem with a rotating mass. The number one reason why your steering wheel is vibrating is this baby right here. If you've ever worked in a tire shop and you had to pick up a tire and wheel package off of a, like a big pickup truck, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These things are heavy. Let's focus on this tire. Now you see this white dot right here? This represents a heavy spot. Every tire and wheel combination has them. That's why we have to balance your wheels and tires. Now this rotating mass, you remember that from earlier, left unbalanced is going to cause a significant problem. Now here's an example of unbalanced. <laughs> it's also a pretty decent example of why women tend to outlive men. And now back to the regular programming. When this heavy spot, this rotating mass reaches the top of the arc, Physics kicks in and we have to start using all kinds of big words. But what you need to understand is, just like the kid flying out, this whole unit is going to lift ever so slightly. So just like a perpetual case of the hiccups, you will have this rotational anomaly every revolution. Not such a big deal when you're going slow, but as soon as you pick up some speed, you've got a significant problem. The ham bone is connected to the leg bone. Well, that's definitely not for the right video, but you do need to understand that everything in your car is connected. And whenever you have something vibrating like this, it's going to travel along the steering gear, up through the steering column, and end up in your hands and your steering wheel. In order for us to correct this, we have to take the tire and wheel over to a balancer. Terry is removing the stick-on weights right here in preparation for what he's about to do, which is to put new ones on. Wheel balancers have come a long way in the last 50 years. The computer in this bad boy will find the slightest heavy spot and it will map it out and tell us exactly how much the weight should be and where it should go to counteract the effect. The laser is showing Terry exactly where to put the weight. This means that the heavy spot is actually 180 degrees so think about it, if the weight is going at 6 o'clock, that means the heavy spot is at 12 o'clock. He spins it again to double check, and everything is okay.
So in conclusion, when you're heading down the highway and your steering wheel is vibrating, and I'm not talking about when you're braking, I'm just talking about when you're going down the highway and your steering wheel is vibrating all the time, that's going to be generally a balancing issue. Alternatively, if your wheel is off to one side, that's your steering wheel, or the car is tugging one direction or another, that's generally a wheel alignment. And if it's doing both, guess what? Chances are it needs both. Well, this brings us to the end of yet another video. Thank you for watching and hit that subscribe button if you feel so inclined. Anyways, have a good day. Man, it's hot out here.